Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared y plus x y squared divided by x squared plus y squared plus 1 is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y such that x and y are integers. So let's start. If we multiply both sides of this equation by this x squared plus y squared plus 1, this implies that uh, x squared y plus uh, x y squared is equal to one time this expression x squared plus uh, y squared plus 1. Now, we move uh, these two terms uh, to the left hand side. Then this will become x squared y. This uh, positive x squared will become negative x squared at left hand side plus this x y squared and this positive y squared will become negative y squared at left hand side is equal to 1. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out x squared in bracket left uh, y minus 1. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus y squared in bracket left uh, x minus 1 is equal to 1. Now, we suppose that uh, let x minus 1 is equal to a and uh, y minus 1 is equal to b, where a and b are integers. Now, if we move this uh, negative 1 to the right hand side, this implies that uh, x is equal to a plus 1. And if we move this negative 1 to the right hand side, this implies that uh, y is equal to b plus 1. Now, this equation will become in place of x we write a plus 1, a plus 1 squared times in place of this y minus 1 we write b plus in place of this y we write this b plus 1, b plus 1 squared times in place of this x minus 1 we write a is equal to 1. Now, by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This a plus 1 whole squared will become a squared plus 2 times a plus 1 times this b plus uh, by using this algebraic identity this b plus 1 whole squared will become b squared plus uh, 2 times b plus 1 times uh, this a is equal to 1. Now, we distribute this b so this will become a squared b plus 2ab plus b plus uh, we distribute this a this will become ab squared plus 2ab uh, plus a is equal to 1. Now, we rearrange these terms we write this a squared b a squared b plus this ab squared this uh, 2ab plus this 2ab will become plus 4ab plus this a plus this b is equal to 1. Now, from these three terms a squared b plus ab squared plus 4ab we can factor out ab a times b as common factor in bracket left a plus b plus 4 plus uh, this a plus b a plus b is equal to 1. Now, because here we have a plus b plus 4, so to make this a plus b same as this expression, we add 4 to both sides. At right hand side, we add 4. Next, a times b times a plus b plus 4 from these three terms uh, we can factor out plus 1. 
in right and left a plus b plus 4 is equal to 1 plus 4 will become 5. Now, as you can see this expression a plus b plus 4, this expression a plus b plus 4 is common. So, we factor out this uh, a plus b plus 4. In bracket left, this a b and this plus 1. In bracket left, a times b plus 1 is equal to, since we have uh, two factors at left hand side, and uh, a and b are integers. So, this 5 can be factorized as uh, 5 times 1, 1 times 5, negative 1 times negative 5, negative 5 times negative 1. It means uh, we have 4 cases. This is case 1, this is case 2, this is case 3 and this is case 4. First, we solve case 1. In case 1, we write this expression equal to this 5 times 1. So, here we write 5 times 1. It means this a plus b plus 4 is equal to 5. a plus b plus 4 is equal to 5. And this a b plus 1 is equal to 1. From this equation, if we subtract 4 from both sides, then a plus b will be equal to 1. And from this equation, if we subtract 1 from both sides, then a b is equal to 0. Now, from this equation, we move this a to the right hand side. So, this will become b is equal to 1 minus a. Now, in this equation, we replace this b with this value 1 minus a. So, this equation will become a times 1 minus a is equal to 0. From here, either a is equal to 0 or 1 minus a is equal to 0. From this equation, we have a is equal to 0 and from this equation, we get the value of a is equal to 1. Now, we have two values of a 0 and 1. By using this equation, we find the two values of b. When a is equal to 0, then b will be equal to 1 minus 0 and b will be equal to 1. And when a is equal to 1, then b will be equal to 1 minus 1 and b will be equal to 0. So, when a is equal to 0, then b is equal to 1 and when a is equal to 1, then b is equal to 0. It means uh, we get uh, two pairs from this case, a comma b is equal to 0 comma 1 and uh, 1 comma 0. Now, we solve case 2. In case 2, we write this expression a plus b plus 4 times a b plus 1 equal to this 1 times 5. In case 2, we write this expression equal to 1 times 5. So, a plus b plus 4 is equal to 1 and a b plus 1 is equal to 5. From this equation, we get a plus b is equal to negative 3 and from this equation, we get a b is equal to 4. We move this a to the right hand side, so b will be equal to negative 3 minus a. And we replace this b with this value negative 3 minus a. This will become a times negative 3 minus a is equal to 4 and a times negative 3, negative 3 a, a times negative a, negative a squared. We move this 4 to the left hand side, this will become negative 4 is equal to 0. And if we multiply both sides by negative 1, this equation will become a squared plus 3 times a 
plus 4 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation, we see the discriminant is less than 0 or greater than 0. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. b is 3, so this is 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 4. This will become 3 squared 9 minus 4 times 1 times 4, 16. And this is equal to negative 7. So, this is less than 0. No real solutions can be found from this case. Now, we solve case 3. In case 3, we write this expression equal to this negative 1 times negative 5. In case 3, we write this expression equal to negative 1 times negative 5. So, this a plus b plus 4 will be equal to negative 1 and a b plus 1 will be equal to negative 5. From this equation, we get the value of a plus b is equal to negative 5. And from this equation, we get the value of a b is equal to negative 6. From this equation, b will be equal to negative 5 minus a. So, in this equation, we replace this b with this value negative 5 minus a. So, this will become a times negative 5 minus a is equal to negative 6. Now, this a times negative 5, negative 5 a and a times negative a, negative a squared. Move this negative 6 to the left hand side, this will become plus 6 is equal to 0. And we we'll multiply both sides by negative 1. So, this will become positive a squared plus 5 times a minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this a squared and we split this 5 times a as a negative a plus 6 times a minus this 6 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out a in bracket left a minus 1. From these two terms, we can factor out plus 6 in bracket left a minus 1 is equal to 0. In this, a minus 1 is common, a minus 1 as common factor in bracket left a plus 6 is equal to 0. And from here, either this a minus 1 is equal to 0 or this a plus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of a is equal to 1 and from this equation, we get the value of a is equal to negative 6. So, when a is equal to 1, then b will be equal to b will be equal to negative 5 minus 1 and b will be equal to negative 6. When a is equal to 1, then b will be equal to negative 6. And when a is equal to negative 6, then b will be equal to negative 5 minus negative 6. And this will be equal to b is equal to this negative negative will become plus and negative 5 plus 6 will become 1. So, when a is equal to 6, then b will be equal to 1. From here, we get other two pairs of solutions a comma b is equal to 1 comma negative 6 and negative 6 comma 1. We solve case 4. In case 4, we write this a plus b plus 4 times a b plus 1 equal to this negative 5 times negative 1. In case 4, we write a plus b plus 4 times a b plus 1 equal to negative 5 times negative 1. So, a plus b plus 4 will be equal to negative 5 
and uh, a times b plus 1 will be equal to negative 1. From this equation we get uh, a plus b is equal to negative 9 and from this equation we get uh, a times b is equal to negative 2. From this equation we move this a to the right hand side so b will be equal to negative 9 minus a we replace uh, this b with this value so a times negative 9 minus a is equal to negative 2 a times negative 9 negative 9 a and a times negative a negative a squared move this negative to the left hand side this will become plus 2 is equal to 0 and we multiply both sides by negative 1 this will become positive a squared plus uh, 9 times a minus 2 is equal to 0. And this uh, quadratic equation is not factorable so no integer solutions can be found from this case. So we get uh, 4 pairs of solutions of a comma b a comma b is equal to 0 comma 1 and uh, 1 comma 0 1 comma negative 6 and uh, negative 6 comma 1 now to find the values of uh, x and y we call that We call that x is equal to a plus 1 and y is equal to b plus 1. We call that x is equal to a plus 1 and y is equal to b plus 1. So, x comma y will be equal to 0 plus 1 is 1 comma 1 plus 1 is 2 in the same way the second pair is 2 comma 1 in the third pair will be 1 plus 1 2 and negative 6 plus 1 negative 5 and the fourth pair is negative 6 plus 1 negative 5 and 1 plus 1 2 this is the final answer of this problem.